Hi coders, CS Time Channel here and this video discuss about what is doubly linked list, operation in doubly linked list, node creation, node traversing, and Java programming implementation. One of limitation of the singly linked list is that it can be traversed in only one direction, that is forward. The doubly linked list has overcome this limitation by providing an additional pointer that point to the previous node. With the help of the previous pointer, the doubly linked list can be traversed in backward direction, thus making insertion and deletion operation easier to perform. Therefore, in a doubly linked list, a node consists of three parts, data, pointer to the next node in sequence or next pointer and pointer to the previous node or previous pointer. Here are the operation of doubly linked list. Node creation, insertion, deletion, and traversing. Focus in this video is node creation and node traversing. We understand that a node consists of three parts, the data and then a pointer to the next node and a pointer to the previous node. To do it in a programming, you will have to declare this node in a class I call as list node like this. Then I will declare the data as character here and I will declare the next pointer as list node which is its class and then the previous node as a list node and I will also need a pointer that point to this node. In this case, I use head and then I declare the head that I also declare it using the list node. Let's see the Java implementation. Here I have a class named doubling list. I will create a class list node that I will declare it as private and then I will declare the node as we saw in the visualization just now that my node consists of data that I declare it as character and then I have next pointer that I declare it as the list node and I also have previous pointer that I declare it as list node and now I will create the constructor for the list node I declare it as public so it will have a parameter data. So I will initialize the data with the data I have here. I also show in the visualization that this node pointed by one pointer named head. So I will have to declare the head with list node. And as additional, I will also add length variable to know the size of the link list. Now I will initialize this. So I will create the constructor to initialize the head as null, also to initialize the length with zero because our link list is still empty. Now how to traverse the list? Since our link list is doubly link list, there are two ways to traverse it, traversing forward and traversing backward. Let's see it traversing forward. Suppose we have a link list like this that pointed by the head where the head is pointing to the first node. Then to traverse it, we need another pointer that point to the same node pointed by the head. So in here, I will use current. So I will declare current as list node and then I tell it to point to the node pointed by the head like this. So in the visualization, it will look like this. This current will traverse from the first node until the last node. We know it's a last node when the next pointer point to the null. So we will need a looping here. While current not equal to null, then we will display the data like this. After that, we tell the current to move to the next node by giving the instruction current equal to current.next. By giving this instruction, the current will move to the next node like this. And then it will go back to the looping, checking whether the current equal to null. If it's not, again, it will display B here and then tell it to move to the next node using current equal to current.next. By doing like this, the current pointer will move to the next node like this. Again, it will check the condition of the loop. Is it equal to null? If it's not, it will display the C and then go to the next node. Once equal to null, which is here, then it will quit the looping. Let's see the Java implementation. So here we will create a method named display forward like this. We will declare one pointer that point to the head. So we declare it with list node. The name is current. 
we tell it to point to the head and then we tell the current to keep moving to the next node as long as it's not equal to null so current not equal to null then we will read current dot data we display it for the visualization i will add arrow sign to point to the next one once it's displayed we tell the current to move to the next node current is current dot next when it's equal to null then it will quit the looping that it should display now. But there is a problem here. When our linked list is empty, then we shouldn't read it. So we'll do the checking here. If head equal to null, then we will return. Now what about traversing backward? It's basically the same with traversing forward. So in traversing forward, we need a pointer. We call it as head that point to the first node. The same here in traversing backward, we need a pointer that point to the last node like this. We call it as tail. In the traversing forward, we need one pointer that point to the first node pointed by the head. The same here, in traversing backward, we need another pointer that point to the first node pointed by the tail, like this. Here, I use current. And then, we will tell current to keep on moving to the previous node. Let's see the Java implementation. So, as our visualization, I will need another pointer that I declare it as list node, which is tail here. And then, I will have to declare the tail with null here. And then, now, I am ready to create the method for display backward. Since basically the function is the same, then I will just copy from here, paste it here, and then I will change the head to tail like that. And then we assign the current instead of to the head, we assign it to the tail like that. And then we tell it to keep on moving until it find null. As long as it's not find null, then we display the data along with the arrow. And then we tell it to move to the previous like that and then once it's quit the looping then we will display the null so let's see one more time all complete uh, program up to now so at first i will need to create a node we understand that the node consists of three data that i declare it as character here and then i have pointer next i declare it as list node the same with previous i declare it as list node and then i initialize the data with the data from its parameter and then after that i need a pointer which is head to point to the first node i also need another pointer which is tail to point to the last node and i need a variable that i declare it as integer to count the number of the node in the list and then now we are ready to read forward at first we assign a current to point to the head and then we tell it to move from the current node to the next node until it find now before it find now it will display the data and then give the instruction to move to the next node and then go back to the loop once current equal to null then it will quit from the looping and then display the null and then we do the checking in the beginning if the head equal to null it means our linked list is empty then we will not do the reading and the same thing with display backward here with display backward exactly the same with display forward but we start reading from the tail and then we assign the current to point to the tail and then we tell the current to move to the previous one as long as not equal to null while it is not equal to null it will display the data and then tell it to move to the previous one and then go back to the looping checking for the current equal to null or not if it is equal to null then quit the looping and then display the null and in the beginning we do the checking whether tail is equal to null which means the linked list is empty if yes then we will not do the reading we will be able to see the result of display forward and backward after we implement the insert method that i will discuss in the following video if you learned something from this video please subscribe and like for more videos thanks for watching